If you were a dog that had never had his teeth brushed before, I would want you to start at home with just handling the muzzle. And so just kind of getting him used to having his muzzle touched. And maybe you can even use a word like brush time or time to brush the teeth, just so he knows that when we start touching his muzzle and then even kind of lifting up the gum and just running your fingers underneath there, just getting him used to having his mouth handled. Because a lot of dogs aren't used to that. Right. Um, the best time to start is with a little puppy, yeah. and um, since he was adopted a little later in life, he, he just goes to show you can teach any dog to have his teeth brushed, and um, just really want to kind of start with that. So maybe when he's sitting on your lap, if you can just kind of get your fingers in there, kind of touching his canines mm -hmm. and his incisors, okay. and kind of sliding your fingers back in here. He's really good about yeah. that. He's really good. But the, I think the, one of the mistakes a lot of people make is that a, use, with a dog that has never had his teeth brushed before, they'll just get the toothbrush on, they get yes. the toothpaste going, they'll jump right in there, and it's a little overwhelming for dogs. Absolutely. So we want to get them used to that first, and after you know, maybe days to weeks of just working up to this part, okay. then we want to actually work up to a little bit of toothpaste. And so this is the, um, the enzymatic toothpaste that we um, recommend. It's chicken flavored. And you can actually start with maybe just a little bit on your finger, so no toothbrush at this point. Okay. So he can kind of get used to that. He likes the taste. And maybe even just kind of rubbing your finger on there. So it's, it's still just your finger that tastes good. Okay. And yeah, you like that. <laughs> and then you can kind of work up to something like a, a finger brush. This is a finger brush that he is used to. And so if I just put this on and put a little bit of toothpaste on there, we can start kind of with the, the front teeth. And you just kind of rub. You can do a little bit of a circular pattern, but um, we want it to be easy. Yes. And so kind of just working your finger back there on his molars. He's really good about that. <laughs> and so we're just kind of scrubbing. Okay. And bit on your incisors. Good mm -hmm. boy. Kind of back here. Yeah, yes. that's very good. <laughs> Do a little bit more. You really want this session to be fairly short and, and uh, partly because I think it's gonna, you're going to be more successful um, if, if everybody's enjoying it and it's Absolutely. easy. So I'm really just doing the outsides of the teeth. Okay. I'm doing um, upper and lower. And so his licking motion causes his jaw to open and close a little bit, so that allows us to get um, at the lower teeth a little better, because you can see when, when he's got his mouth closed, yes. you can't really access right. those lower teeth. But when he's moving his jaw up and down, good boy, PJ, <laughs> you can get those lower teeth. Don't worry about trying to get the insides of okay. the teeth. That's, the side, yeah, <laughs> those are, that's just a little too challenging. Now, um, I think the best thing to do is brush the teeth um, daily, if we can. Um, I, I really think that that's the best, to have the teeth brushed daily. Sometimes that's not practical, and I think in those cases, even if you can brush the teeth once a week, you're still making a difference.